Welcome to AI in Games as we introduce an interesting vein of academic research that's unlike anything else we've showcased before. One fascinating aspect of studying as well as designing games is understanding how people play. What are you doing at any point in time and why are you doing it? Today we look at a significant body of research that explores this particular issue in a weird and interesting place. DICE's first person shooter series, Battlefield. As a shooter franchise known for its large-scale multiplayer battles, Battlefield could not be farther removed from the types of games we'd expect to study. But this is the home of an interesting research project coordinated by Shoshana Tukovsky of Tilburg University in the Netherlands, the task being to answer a small but significant question. Does the statistically trackable playstyle of a player significantly correlate to his personality? In other words, can we expect your battlefield performance and behaviour then map to certain aspects of who you are as a person? It's a big challenge to answer, but it allows us to explore a unique corner of games research that's becoming increasingly prominent. Welcome to the world of player modelling. Player modeling is a discipline within games research that examines how we can gather and use data related to players and their experiences within a particular game. This can manifest in a number of ways. For example, we may model the specific actions that players make within games or model the reactions that players have in the real world to what is happening within the game. We can gather information on a per player basis or extend this outwards into entire communities of players. Ultimately, the goal of a player modelling research project can vary, whether it be to mimic the behaviour of a player, such as that seen with the drive avatar in Forza, or to use data to instigate changes in the game world, such as the director of Left 4 Dead. But in this case, Tchaikovsky's goal was to map your in-game data to that gathered about who you are as a person. This was achieved through the PsyOps project. PsyOps was an online campaign dedicated to advertising Tukovsky's research in an effort to gather data as broadly as possible. Given her own enthusiasm for the game, as well as skills as a YouTube director in the Battlefield 3 community, she built an online platform that encouraged Battlefield 3 players to submit their data to the experiment. In conjunction with providing consent for their Battlefield profiles to be used, each player completed a personality assessment. This assessment would then be used at a later date to help relate their in-game activity to who they are as a person. While first gathering information about player's age, country of residence and gaming platform of choice, the personality assessment was built using the International Personality Item Pool, or IPIP, a collection of pre-built questions used by personality researchers. These questions can be used to help identify and classify users against the dimensions used by psychologists for dictating personality. These dimensions are collectively known as the Big Five – openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness and neuroticism. All in, PsyOps proved a huge success as a data gathering exercise with over 13,000 submissions before it closed. So what was learned from this exercise? What information could be gleaned from this in-game data? There are a number of interesting statistically correlated results that have been identified from this research. We identify a handful, but we encourage you to read more about this, both in our report over on AIngames.com as well as the research papers that we cite. If we return to the original question, does the statistically trackable playstyle of a player significantly correlate to their personality? The answer is yes, with some key themes being established. Firstly, conscientious players have a slower playstyle, which is established by a reduced number of actions per time unit. 
This doesn't mean that these players are bad, but rather that they're more methodical in their gameplay. This results not only in a preference for longer game modes such as Conquest, but they also die less frequently and are more liable to use vehicles such as tanks to slowly erode enemy defences. Perhaps not surprisingly, these conscientious people take longer to unlock new equipment, given that if you play the game slower, you're less likely to score as many kills. Given that so many unlocks in Battlefield are linked to kills and assists, it's going to slow you down. One final observation is that there is no negative correlation between people you may consider of poor work ethic, or just, you know, lazy, with gameplay performance. Given that Battlefield is a game reliant upon teamwork and coordination, it doesn't manifest in poorer performance if you happen to be a bit of a lazy git. But this wasn't the only analysis that took place. Given that this personality data was accrued alongside other pieces of information related to the user, one key piece of information was a player's age. As such, Tchaikovsky decided to investigate whether a player's age also has an impact on your performance. As an aside, it's interesting to note the age of Battlefield players tends to peak between the ages of 16 and 22, which isn't bad for a game rated M in the United States, but I digress. The notion of age impacting player performance is actually rather important, given that it is recognised in cognitive psychology research that as humans age, our brains gradually become slower and less responsive. So the big question is, does your age impact your performance in Battlefield? But also, does it subsequently influence how you play the game? Indeed, a correlation has been established that as we age, we gradually score less per time unit, but also kill enemies and die less frequently. This can actually point back to the personality correlation with conscientiousness and speed, given we typically become more conscientious as we age. In addition, older players tend to avoid aerial vehicles, prefer to play as support and engineer, and, contrary to our first point, actually get better at the game because they invest more of their time over a longer period. However, the real interesting part is that degradation in scoring does not impact objective scores. What does that mean? Well, <laughs> let me tell you. Tchaikovsky's results indicate that while age negatively correlates kills with score, the correlation between age and wins is significantly lower. What does that mean? Well, the way I see it, it suggests older players are focusing more on winning the game. You know what that means? It means us old are playing the objective! These stupid 16 year olds sitting on f***ing mountaintops trying to headshot each other from two f***ing miles away while their mates are crashing f***ing jets in a f***ing buildings aren't doing us any goddamn favours. PTFO or GTFO f <coughs> Sorry about that. One last thing is that the final paper published by Tchaikovsky addressed that whole neurocognitive issue Firstly, yes, as you get older, you will get worse at this game, but also you're liable to peak at around the age of 20. So good luck, kids. You've only got a year or two left of f***ing around before you got a PTFO at the rest of us boring old f***. PsyOps was a big and bold entry into the world of player analysis, achieved against the backdrop of one of the biggest and most popular games at that point in time. But the research in this field is far from over. At the time this video is launched, Tchaikovsky, in conjunction with MIT Media Lab, has launched Project Gamer, a new initiative where you can become part of this new and exciting avenue in research. Project Gamer is looking for players of Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline, League of Legends and World of Warcraft to participate in a study even more ambitious than that of PsyOps. We encourage you to check it out over at projectgamer.com. Thanks for watching this AI and Games video and a big thanks to Shoshana Tukovsky herself for taking the time to talk with us about her work and to my squad on screen now who helped record our Battlefield 3 footage. Be sure to head to AIandGames.com to read the full report on the research with links to published research papers plus an interview with Shoshana as we discuss working on PsyOps. You can also find a whole host of other cool AI research discussions as well as how you can support us over on Patreon.com. We'll see you on the battlefield. Bye!